With all that's going on, you might be curious how to live stream with ProPresenter 6, or even how to record directly in ProPresenter 6. So let me show you how to do both of those things, whether you're pre-recording everything or just uh, going out live with OBS. So the first thing we're going to do is here we are in ProPresenter, and let's assume that you have a single camera and you're going to bring that in to ProPresenter. Normally, I advise against this because there's latency, but if you're just recording the whole thing, that's not an issue. So, what I would do is uh, first I'd go into ProPresenter Preferences and select the video. And in this case, I'm using Camera Live, which is a free piece of software that captures um, a DSLR. So, you're going to see me through my ta uh, Canon T3i here at my desk. There will be some latency, so the audio won't match up perfectly, but you'll see what I've done. So, I just selected the appropriate source here, so we're going to close that. Now we're going to go to... Um, actions live video and here I am I told you there was some latency maybe you don't notice all that but so right now if it's just this one camera you'll notice that I'm able to just change slides just like normal and that works perfectly acceptably now to record that I can go to, I think it's also under Actions, yes, Record Output. So I can click that, tell it where I want to record it, what codec to use. I recommend in general you're going to want H.264, um, the size, frames per second, etc. Target is where you're going to record it, so you might click here. and then decide where you're going to record it, go to output, etc. Um, and then you click this button to record it. So that's a simple way to do it. If you have a pre-recorded piece of media, you know, maybe everything's already been recorded, but you need to put in lyrics, then by all means, just bring it in as a background. So I've got some in here. This actually, I'll need to go in and tweak it to do it but that's a fine way to do it as well as bring in a pre-recorded uh, video of someone or your entire service bring it up as a background and then just change your slides like you normally would so let me clear all this and uh, select this again now, you might be curious how you would bring that into Camera Live, or into OBS. So, uh, if you go into OBS, and first, I want to change this preference. So, we go into Preferences, go to Display now. Uh, make sure Enable Siphon is selected. And I also want you to go to screen color. Now, this is a little counterintuitive, but follow me on it. So we go to screen color, and by default it's black. Maybe you changed it to white or whatever. But I want you to bring down the opacity of that to zero. So let me do that, and then let's click on that. You'll notice it doesn't look any different whatsoever. But if I go into OBS here, here I am again. Um, and you'll notice I've got a lower third. You'll notice there's even more latency. Um, a lower third here. And let me show you how I did that. I'm going to remove this. And then add it back in as part of this scene where I have audio. Make sure you have audio in your scene. I have my camera. And make sure that I add in, now I'm going to go for Siphon Client. And um, I don't have one, so let's call this uh, Pro 6. And 
click OK. Now, we're going to have to choose Source, and since I click the Enable Siphon button, ProPresenter 6 Output is available, so I'm going to select that. But it's got a black background. What I want to do is select Allow Transparency. So now when I go back here, you'll see that I have my lower third once again. So that's another way to do that. Now, if you need to send this uh, from ProPresenter 6 to another computer that has OBS, then you could just turn that into NDI. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to select... Um, in the i siphon which is another free piece of software and notice that i've got this so what i can do is i can select ProPresenter 6 here and make sure that i have both of those enabled and alpha channel so when i do that pretending that this let's get rid of this real quick so, pretending that this is another computer, I can add an NDI source. Now, I did have to go and download a special plugin for ProPresenter, but I'll leave a link below the video. Not for ProPresenter, for OBS. And I'll link, uh, add a link below the video to that. And now I can go and look. Here's this. It probably wouldn't say Paul.2510 unless your name's Paul like me. Um, and dot .local it probably won't say unless you are doing it on the same computer, which there are reasons to do that. But anyway, do that. And so let's that I think this also needs to be selected so let's click OK and see yep and that's working so I can send the siphon output of Pro 6 this only works on the Mac version by the way send the siphon output of Pro 6 either to NDI uh, I can send it to OBS directly on the same computer or I can send it via NDI using NDI siphon to another computer. So those are the three ways that you could do it either recording it all in ProPresenter, sending it to OBS on the same computer or sending it to OBS on a different computer. And so that's some of the ways that we can accomplish some of these um, unusual things in these unusual times.